Welcome to Xara template tutorial lesson number 30. In this Xara Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over how to replace photos within a text panel from the designs gallery. And we'll also go over how to add photos from the photos folder within the designs gallery and how to do basic cropping with the clip tool within Xara Web Designer 7 Premium. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in Xara Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, make sure that you have the option for the designs gallery in the upper right hand corner over here. If you don't have this option, go to utilities, go to galleries in your upper left hand menu here. And when that menu pops out, look for the option that says designs gallery. And if that doesn't have if it doesn't have a checkbox by it, then you will left click on it. In this case, it has a checkbox next to the designs gallery, so I will not need to choose that. So let's go ahead and go to the designs gallery option in our right hand menu over here on the right side of our screen and lock this panel by clicking on the thumbtack option. And then we're going to go to the folder that says text panels and you'll left click on that. And we'll go to the option that says other text panels. And we're going to drag in one of the text panels that has a picture in it. And if at any point it seems like I'm going too fast, it's probably a good sign that you need to watch some of the previous tutorials because some of the stuff we have already covered how to reach this point. So go ahead and left click and drag one of the panels that has a picture in it. I'm going to choose panel one. You can choose any panel that you would like to. Okay, so once you choose your um, text panel, go ahead and go back to your designs gallery and scroll up and close the text panel folder by left clicking on it the folder icon and it will close that text panel then we're going to go to the photos folder within the designs gallery left click on that and you'll have two options the landscape or portrait doesn't matter which one you choose I'm just going to choose the landscape option by left clicking on that folder and I'm going to choose the first photo that looks like an apple. So left click on that and hold down the left click mouse button and drag on top of that photo for this text panel. And you'll see that there's kind of an arrow next to my regular cursor. I don't know if you can see that on screen, but that's just indicating that you're about to drop it into your workspace. So let go of that on top of that photo and you'll see that it replaces it with the apple photo. And if you look in your info bar, you'll see there is a bitmap. That's the fill type. And because this is a picture, that's kind of another word for this type of picture is bitmap. But in simplest form, it's just a picture that's referred to as a bitmap. And this bitmap automatically selects the fill tool in our toolbar. And what that allows you to do, if you select the center node on the, on the control handles here, I don't know if you can see that either because of the color of the photo, but if you can see that there, select the center node and move it around, and you'll see that you're able to drag this photo around and position it however you would like. And if you don't want to reposition it, you can resize it by dragging the outer nodes and dragging outward, and then dragging the center node in some to focus on a specific point in the photo. So maybe you want to emphasize the apple in this photo so you can zoom in on that part of the photo by resizing these outer handles of the of the fill tool for bitmaps now alternatively you could rotate this photo so let's kind of zoom zoom out by dragging these outer nodes inward some and then reposition it somewhat centered and then while holding down the control key if you left click and drag in a rotational manner around in a circle with that node it snaps it at 45 degree points so you'll see that it, it moves in a 45 degree motion meaning that it snaps at an angle at those angles so if you want to keep it horizontal you just drag it back to horizontal position while holding down the control key and it'll make it horizontal now if you don't drag in a circular motion and you left click and hold, while you hold, hold down the control key and left click and drag outward it keeps it locked hor horizontally as you can see here and then you can just simply zoom in by dragging well not zoom in but reposition the photo 
by dragging the center node to focus in on the apple or whatever part of the image you want. And if you wanted to replace this particular photo, just simply left click and drag another photo on top of it. You'll see a little weird looking icon next to the arrow or another arrow that's next to my regular cursor. And again, I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but it should be there. Left click and let that go and it'll replace that photo and you can re reapply the same steps we just did for the first photo to resize it or rotate it or reposition it within this text panel for photos. So I hope that helps you with understanding how to replace photos within the text panel and modifying that photo within the text panel. Next thing we're going to do is select the selection tool in the toolbar and we're going to delete this text panel with the photo we don't need it anymore. So hit your delete key and it should delete it after you have it selected. And then we're going to drag one of these photos from the photo photo folder within the designs gallery again. Left click and again you'll see the arrow there that's next to my cursor indicating I'm about to drop it into the workspace. Let go of that and it'll drop that photo. Now if you go to your toolbar here you should see an icon that looks like a camera. If you don't see that you'll have to look for one of the one of the options in the toolbar that has one of the flyout menus which you'll know by the arrows that indicate that there's a flyout menu and I went over that in a much older tutorial so if you haven't watched the previous tutorials make sure you do from beginning to end and it'll help you to understand some of these concepts that I'm talking about but you should see a icon that looks like a, a camera if that's the one that you have selected you know by the from the last time you used the program if not you're gonna have to find out where this clip tool is at within your toolbar and it should be a flyout menu for it but you'll see one of these icons that's in this pop-out menu if you don't see that camera icon you'll see one of these icons here and you want to make sure that you select the clip icon if, if you see it over here in the regular side of the toolbar when you place your cursor over it you'll see you'll see the icon one of these icons as the first icon when you don't have your cursor over it but anyway you can ignore that if that was confusing just make sure you find this clip icon within your toolbar and left click on that with, while you had this photo selected and you'll see that there's nodes on the edge of this photo and what that allows you to do is to clip certain parts so left click and drag on one of the nodes if you drag the center node it will drag horizontally on this side if you drag the top center node it will drag vertically up and down and you can cut out certain parts of the photo or add it back in if you drag one of the corner nodes it will drag from a diagonal motion from from the corners and you can do that from any corner that there is a node on which there is one on each corner now if you wanted to you could just focus maybe you wanted to focus in on just the apple again you could click it and focus only in on the apple that is in color red or you could focus in on the one that looks like a rock in this case or some kind of weird material and you can focus just on the part that looks like a rock as an apple with a green leaf so that's how you clip a photo or crop a photo using the XAR web designer clip tool and I hope this tutorial was helpful in helping you learn how to replace photos within a text uh, panel and also helpful in helping you learn how to crop or clip photos and add photos from the photos folder in the designs gallery. If you have any questions please send us a message on YouTube and I'll do my best to help answer your questions and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay tuned to future tutorials and also give us a thumbs up if this tutorial was helpful in helping you learn how to do the things that we talked about in the beginning of this tutorial. Thanks again and stay tuned for future tutorials.